Hey guys, it is Liberty here from Spirit Move Ministries. Yes, I am back from Pakistan. I am alive and well, and we had an amazing time with the Lord in Pakistan. Um, I just wanted to hop on and basically just say, hey, this weekend is the Lakeland Fire Nights. We want to see you there. Uh, God's going to move mightily. We're going to have a great time together in the Lord. We are going to be meeting Friday night, um, Saturday night, and Sunday night. Each night, we will be having a revival service. Yeah, we got crazy people driving around me. Um, just so you know, I do watch the road when I'm recording. For those of you who are concerned, you just don't really see my eyes because I have my sunglasses on. Um, but I just wanted to say I'm so excited to see you guys in Lakeland. Um, had an amazing time in Pakistan. As you know, I could not release the dates that I was going until after I was there and the crusade was done for my safety. And so... Um, it was very important that I did not state when I was going and what location I was going to. But all was well. I had security, um, four to six security guards with me everywhere I went. Uh, God was with me. Uh, it went as great as it could go. Amen. As great as God wanted it to go. We had twice as many people come to the crusade than expected. We were expecting... 100,000 people, but we ended up with 200,000 people, and 99%, you guys, no joke, it's on video, of them raise their hand to accept Christ. It was the most beautiful thing you've ever seen when almost 200,000 people raised their hand to accept Christ, and uh, there was so much glory manifesting. Um, people, before I even started preaching, um, it's, I did sat and, and I spent time worshiping with them with the opening song that I did and people began to manifest right away. The glory hit, uh, people were already shaking and crying and demons were already manifesting. I mean, it was an amazing time with the Lord. Um, towards the end of the service, when people came up, there were thousands that came up and lined up to give their testimony of miracles and healing that God did. There were so many miracles, too many to name. We're going to be getting uh, um, the stats and documentation on all that. Uh, the pastors there are um, going to be following up with everybody and getting all that info. We will get it to you soon. But it was just beyond miraculous. Everyone that came up to give uh, their testimony and share it, their faces were covered in gold dust. Literally, it poofed on everybody. It, it was so amazing, you guys. There's no words to describe the beauty of all of it. And, um, yes, it, it fries you, but you know, um, I declare that the Lord is my strength. And so, um, I'm excited. I'm ready for Lakeland. I'm all fired up. I hope you're excited. If you're in Florida, you need to get to Lakeland. We're going to have an amazing time together in the Lord and we want to see you there. Amen. But I had to give a shout out on, um, Pakistan and the souls that were saved you guys. And those of you that gave, to see the crusade happen. As you know, we had to raise about $86,000 to cover the crusade. And um, we're gonna be planning another one um, in March or April. I will need to, to raise another $86,000 to $100,000. And we're also planning one in Kenya in March. And um, there are just so many things happening, you guys. This is the time of the harvest. We are in revival everywhere globally, and everybody needs to jump on board. Even if your part is only to sow a seed, so that, so that, basically, I have what I need to go and do what I'm called to do to reach the souls. Even if you're not called to go do that, your call is to to release funds into the kingdom so that people like me can go do it. Then we need you. God needs you. You're just as needed as as I am in what I do, and so. I honor you and I thank you if you gave to see that crusade possible because now what you gave uh, became a double, you guys. It became a double because double the amount of people came that were supposed to. It was only supposed to be about 100,000, but 200,000 people showed up. And so uh, people are hungry for the Lord, you guys, and we're called to go take uh, the Holy Ghost and fire and the gospel and all 
role that it represents to those that are lost and dying. Amen. And so it was just an amazing thing. We want to see you in Lakeland. Also, continue to pray for Israel. And let me just throw this in there. I just want to say a couple things about Israel because you know that I've released uh, some prophecies over Israel previously before the war broke out and then since the war. And um, if you have not seen that, go back. It's on my YouTube channel. It's a prophecy over Israel and the body of Christ. You need to go back and watch it. It is important for this season, you guys. Very important. Um, pray for Israel. A victory for Israel is a victory for America. We, The body of Christ in America and um, Israel, whether they believe in the Messiah yet or not, we're one heartbeat. We've been grafted in. Uh, not very many people would just, you know, not stick up for their own family because that's pretty much what you're doing. If you don't back Israel, you're, you're, you're walking away from your own sibling. We're grafted in y'all. And so uh, they are still the apple of God's eye and they shall be saved. Amen. And then the end shall come. And so, um, but we are to pray it in. We are to back them in prayer. We are to be a strong tower for them on behalf of Christ. Amen. They don't owe us anything. We're already saved. Jesus paid it all. They don't owe us to get saved first before we pray for them. No. That is a, a, a lie way of thinking. I'm letting you know that because we've had people send me emails and comments and they're like, well, they don't even believe in Jesus yet. Blah, 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 blah. Very negative. I'm here to tell you right now, if you got saved, somebody prayed for you. So we pray for them. Uh, they don't owe us any kind of proof so that we'll pray for them. No, we know what's already been prophesied. We already know what the Bible says and we declare it. Amen in Jesus name. And so we continue to lift up Israel. We continue to watch and pray. And I ask you to watch and pray. And I also ask you to not watch fake news. Do not watch mainstream media. So, I mean, you'll get a little bit here or there where they're telling what's actually happening because America is attempting to back Israel. So there's, it's still, don't watch the fake news, people. Uh, find real news sources. If you're not sure what they are, email our ministry. We will gladly send you links to real news sources, okay? And so um, continue to pray for Israel. You guys, there's so many words I could release. Um, there's so much that God is doing. I'm having dreams. You already know I have dreams every night, but it's been, he's been upping, he's been ramping it up four or five a night. Um, as you know, I had the dreams of the 10 cities that are going to be attacked and hit. And I believe that he has revealed to me three of the cities. And, um, I don't know when he'll have me start releasing those. And when I tell you how he gave them to me, <clears throat> Some of you, unless you believe in angelic activity, are not going to believe. But it's coming a day where you're going to believe because that activity is more real than our flesh and blood. Okay? And so, um, there's just so much, you guys. It's time to release the fire. It's time to release revival. I want to see you at Lakeland. If you are in Florida, we want to see you. Um, we're going to wreck it for Jesus together. The Lord has told me to bring the fire. That's what I'm going to do. And there's going to be healing, deliverance, miracles, um, and impartation of fire. God's on the move in a major way. Also, I had somebody email the ministry. I don't normally give any kind of responses to people because that would waste my life. I don't have time for that. Um, but they said that basically um, doing the event in Lakeland is living in the past. That's what they said. And what you guys need to understand is um, what led to the revival in Lakeland. And so I'm going to I'm going to title this video what led to the revival in Lakeland or something to do with Lakeland. But um, this is the dream. I had a dream and in the dream, an apostle friend of mine who was a part of the Lakeland revival, his church was actually the one that led the revival. Um, he is a very good friend of mine. And in my dream, um, we had just done an event together 
and uh, we, everybody was cleaning up. We were tearing down and all that. And in the dream, all of a sudden, I look over and I say, hey, and I say his name and I say, don't let me forget. I'm supposed to set up fire nights in Lakeland. The Lord said we're supposed to come to Lakeland and do fire nights. Boom. So then I woke up and I was like, well, looks like we're doing fire nights in Lakeland. I obey to the T, you guys. There's no hidden agendas. Ain't nobody trying to drum up some old revival. I do what he tells me. And there has been words released over Lakeland. There's been words released over Florida as a whole. And so we back up the word of the Lord and we believe for it and we participate in it. Um, and so I don't want anybody in the body of Christ having that kind of thinking because it's going to make you live in criticism, negativity, and uh, it's going to make you not participate with the end time revival. God wants you to participate. It isn't your job to judge or worry about a thing other than showing up hungry and bring some people. That's your job. That is your job. So show up hungry and bring some people. That's what you're called to do. If you're a believer in Christ and you say you live for him, then that's what you're called to do. And I'm probably offending some people, but you know, I'm very good at that. So, um, the Lord said it's time for the fire to come to Lakeland to a whole nother level. And so we're going to go and bring the fire as God has called us to. And many other leaders in Lakeland are joining me and they are going to be there as a part of the revival. Uh, those that were leaders of those churches that were in revival back in the day um, are going to be at this revival. And uh, they are believing for the fire to come to Lakeland once again. But not old fire, but whatever God has now. Amen. And so um, I'm honored to participate in whatever God has. <clears throat> Amen. Okay. I'm going to go, you guys. We want to see you in Lakeland. And um, keep praying for Israel. And once again, thank you for those who gave to Pakistan. I declare uh, double blessing, triple blessing over your families, pressed down, shaken up, uh, running over for you and your loved ones and your health, everything, you guys, anything you touch, you touch your hands to, I declare God's uh, favor and blessing upon it. Amen and amen. I love you guys. I will talk to you later and I will see you this weekend.